week city. Hello and welcome to a new episode. This time I found this wonderful dress up game called Goddess Scene Maker and I really wanted to play it. But I was not in the mood to create new characters, so I decided to recreate already existing ones. After a lot of thinking, I came up with the best idea. What if I made the girls from Witch? Witch, if you are unfamiliar with it, is an Italian comic about a group of fine young girls who are chosen to be the next guardians of Kandakar. Their newfound powers include the ability to control the elements, water, earth, air, fire and energy. The comic lasted from 1001 to 1012 and... Hey! Wait a minute! That means that the comic was going on for 11 years? That's really, really long! Longer than I have been alive! How did the creators not get sick and tired of the characters? How did they find the energy to keep going? I want to meet these people! They are heroes! I need to meet them and lick their faces! What was I talking about? Oh, right, which? The comic has 155 issues. Oh my gosh! But the TV show from 2004 only lasted for two seasons. Compare that to shows like Winx Club that lasted for seven seasons and is still going? It did not last very long. I started with Will, Keeper of the Heart and the leader of the group. The hardest part with Will was the hair, and like I have done in past videos, I had to do a lot of trial and error. But in the end, it looks really good! Another difficult part was to have the clothes match the original clothes as much as possible, but it was fun to play around with all the armor and jewelry. The gold really fits the color scheme! I tried to replicate the heart of Pandrakar here, this thingy, the magical amulet that she is the keeper of. It is obviously not an exact replica, but it's a pretty good try, especially considering that this dress up game has nothing to do with witch. Irma was next up. Once again, the hair was the hardest part. Have I said that the clothes in this game are stunning? They're all super pretty and they fit these ladies to a T. They're kind of goddesses to begin with, so this style complements them very well. water, so naturally she got some of the water magic going on. And now it's time for Tarani. wearing her glasses, but I could not find a way to recreate glasses with the items that were available in this game. Which is a great shame, because she loves her glasses. There is a chapter in the comics when she gets the opportunity to have her eyesight completely healed, but she refuses. She did not want to be fixed, because there was nothing to be fixed. 
Her glances were a part of her, and she was very happy that way. powerful element of them all. Thankfully Tyranny is one of the good guys because if she turned evil we should all be scared. She was definitely the most skilled and powerful fighter of all five of them in the comics. And now some Cornelia, the one with the power of the earth. her super long hair. She almost looks like Rapunzel. Unfortunately, there wasn't a good way to give them wings, but the wings were pretty useless anyway most of the time. Only Hayleen could actually fly with them after all, so it's okay. were the hardest ones to decide on and even though I worked so hard on getting just the right look I still later realized that this looks more like her newer outfits than the old one. Oops. And lastly, Hylin, the last letter in their group name Witch. Because that's what the name stands for. Double D is for Will, I is for Irma, T is for Tyranny, C for Cornelia and H for Hylin. Hayleen came up with a name after her grandmother had told them that they had been chosen to be guardians. After that evening, their lives changed forever and they have been on so many adventures since. My personal favorite story arc is when they fight Nerissa, a former guardian who shows the dark side. Idea to use a goddess scene maker for them? If you want 
to read a witch comic but cannot find them in your store, I have put a link in the description box so you can read them online. And there's also a link to the game. 